It's fundamental, uh, more than ever. Uh, if you think about all the different types of siloed activities that go on in the marketing uh, practice, and um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's critical to deliver on unification, um, both from a uh, organizational perspective, but also from a, from, a, from a data collection and data flow perspective. Hello, and welcome to Martic by Customer Data Dialogues. Today, we are speaking with Andreas, who heads the technology and data at Omnicom Group. Andreas, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Let me start by asking, as an agency, you work with a cross-section of clients. So what are the common challenges that you see when it comes to data and analytics? Fundamentally, um, the biggest headache that, we, that we've noticed is effectively the practice of data and the access of data. Um, big data is often only accessible to certain specialist units and people with the know-how. Um, smaller data is kind of omnipresent, as we all know. Um, we're, all, we're all using Excel and PowerPoint and, and talking to people on a regular basis. Um, but effectively, it's about creating a literacy of big data that I think is the, the biggest challenge as we move into 2022. Um, so from an operationalization perspective, an, an organizational change has to happen in order to be able to deliver on uh, a ubiquity of big data, even at the smaller levels of the, uh, of the business and, uh, and the stakeholders involved. Tell me, what are the critical factors when looking at a singular customer view? Where do you see brands going wrong? Fundamentally, it's about having a process in place um, and, and a framework of, of thinking, a methodology. Um, typically, there's a five-step process that I, t I advise a client to take. Step one is all about, effectively, um, the collection of data and understanding where data sits currently across legacy systems and enterprise platforms within an organization. Once you've done that audit, you can kind of see where the gaps are and what you need to do to implement uh, innovation and transformation. Step two is more around, effectively, building a strategy. Um, and by that I mean, you've got this data, you've collected it. What does it mean? What are you doing with it? What's the value that you're delivering for a business? And um, you can only do that really with a step three, which is about technology. If you don't have the right platforms and solutions in place that make sense for your business, you're never going to be able to deliver on change in the first place. So that's kind of a really integral point um, to, to make. And, the, and lastly, I think when I'm talking to clients, it's kind of a twofold thing, points four and five, which is, having the right skill sets, the right sort of, you have to invest in the right academic personnel. So there's a, there's a triad of skill sets that I think that needs to have, to have an overlap between marketing, business and science that come together to deliver on value. And then those people are able to report on the effect of transformation over the course of, of an engagement. So yeah, it's, a, it's kind of, a, it's all about um, creating a, a platform of thinking, a methodology. Fantastic. You did mention about technology, so I want to draw you in in terms of the customer data platform. How integral do you think that is to achieve a single view of the customer? It's fundamental, uh, more than ever. Uh, if you think about all the different types of siloed activities that go on in the marketing uh, practice, and um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's critical to deliver on unification, um, both from a uh, organizational perspective, but also from a, from, a, from a data collection and data flow perspective. The CDP, the work that we're doing, for instance, at Omnicom now um, for Expo 2020, um, with the help of Telium, has been absolutely uh, integral to the deliverance of, of best-in-class uh, data management. Um, the use cases that we're able to provide a client of such high stature um, extends beyond media now to an nth degree. We're able to do real-time analytics, report on live customer interaction, and attribution, of course, if we think about the online to offline journeys, suddenly is a real thing. It's no longer just a, a pie in the sky idea of, of hope. It's an actual physical product that we can deliver to the client. That's, that's amazing. So tell us, uh, with this data that's available, has the media mix changed for clients? And do you see that trend continue? From an Omnicom perspective, um, as a whole, we've seen digital media investments increase considerably in the last 24 months, um, going from anything from 40% up to now 70, 75%. I think that's a two-pronged move in the sense of post-pandemic, as customers are more prone to uh, engage online uh, and in their kind of private spaces. So I think digital kind of plays in that nice space. And I think also alongside that is the natural maturity of digitization for a client. So yes, the media mix has fundamentally changed. Above the line still exists and it's still very, very important, don't get me wrong. 
Um, but I think digital enables now us to understand the effect of above the line within the digital practice. And, and marketeers and advertisers can ask fundamental questions and get answers back, which is, what is the effect of my above the line delivering on this? Uh, you know, uh, what is the lifetime value of a segmentation that I've, that I've built here? And digital is the only way to be able to uh, bring that together. That's, that's a very relevant point. So let's also talk about attribution models. How have you seen the models change and have they become more <coughs> effective? Yeah, um, I think attribution now in a post uh, GDPR and cookie world that we're in um, has been more complicated than ever before. There is a conundrum that marketeers effectively uh, face, which is there are so many models, there are so many platforms, there are so many technologies. How do we uh, make sense of what is right and what good looks like? What's the actual, uh, the, the actual source of truth? When we're working more now with big data and being able to connect um, live customer records and customer engagement at a persistent level into cloud environments such as you know, GCP or AWS, we're able to start looking at the actual pathway of a customer over time and considering not just their paid media activities and engagement, but everything that they're doing, their behaviors online, their behaviors in the real world. So the overlaps now between private, public, physical, online, are almost one. So attribution is no longer a case of just how does my digital media perform? It's actually what is that customer doing? What are they thinking and how are they performing? What do they think about the, our brand? So I think what, what it's able to do is provide sophistication um, in, in the modern context. Fantastic, thank you so much for your insights and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much.